And we have new details this noon following a family tragedy in Plantation, a murder and attempted suicide. A mother and her two-year-old son who were found dead in the home have now been identified as the child's father remains in the hospital. Local 10 News reporter Annalise Garcia is live at the scene. And I know you have the latest on this investigation and just what a horrible set of circumstances. Absolutely. It's an absolute tragedy for this family, for these neighbors who are still trying to wrap their head around what exactly happened. Now, we've been here all morning long and a plantation police officer was stationed outside with tape surrounding the home. And not too long ago, things took a turn here outside of the home where this happened. Uh, plantation Fire Department got here not too long ago and you can see them stationed right there. Uh, they're ready to get toward the back. There's a canal behind this home where it appears that the dive team will be assisting in this investigation and searching for something inside of that canal. What you're seeing right now is them with a stretcher. It seems like some kind of protocol. But right now, this scene definitely took a turn and is still very active. Crime scene investigators back at the scene of a family tragedy in Plantation Wednesday morning. Beautiful family. When officers arrived Tuesday afternoon, they found a woman and a child dead. Our cameras rolling as they brought the two bodies out of the home on Northwest 97th Avenue. We now know them as 38-year-old Sarah Ashley Gamma and her two-year-old son, Ethan Aponte. We have also learned Gamma had a second baby who is currently with loved ones. I can't, I can't, it's too much. It's too much. It was so cute. When police arrived to the home, they also found the father of the boy. He was unconscious. 40-year-old Jean Carlos Aponte was transported to the hospital in critical condition. Police say it was possibly a result of an apparent self-induced drug overdose. It's the last thing I would expect here. None of this makes sense. Neighbors who knew the family describing them as normal and loving, still trying to wrap their heads around this horror. What happened? Uh, what happened? How does this happen? And so now you're taking another live look outsider. Well, a new live look here. This is Sky 10 showing you this canal behind the home. It, as I mentioned, appears the fire department's dive team is assisting in this investigation and searching for something. What it is, no information on that just yet, but you can see the divers back here preparing and heading inside of this very large canal. This is directly behind the home on Northwest 97th Avenue. And yesterday we were here, saw detectives for hours, then crime scene investigators a return to this apparent double murder and attempted suicide here. And now these divers from the fire department of plantation are here searching for something. So the investigation is far from over. Uh, another live look here from where I'm standing right now. You can see the fire rescue teams uh, ready to uh, for their team members to come out and to continue uh, working on this investigation. As soon as we get any answers here on what exactly they're looking for uh, and an update on the condition of the father involved here, we'll be sure to let you know. But for now, we're live in plantation. And Elise Garcia, Local 10 News.